In this quick video, I am going to show you how to make PowerPoint presentation slideshow in PC. If you found this video helpful, then please consider subscribing my channel to help me reach 1000 subscribers. So when you open PowerPoint for the first time, you will see this option. So from here, you can choose any template to work on. So I am just going with the blank presentation. You can create any of your own. And now on this interface, you will see all of the slides will be coming on your slideshow and you can type anything here. I don't want to have this thing so for that I'll simply press ctrl a select all and then hit backspace to delete all of those things and now to add any text or image we need to go to the insert tab from this ribbon so we need to click on insert and then from here you can insert pictures you can insert shapes or you can insert your text box so firstly I want to insert a text box here so for that I'll select this and then we can simply drag our text here so I just want to make it like this and here I want to add a text I'll simply type it animal from zoo and once we type it we can increase the size by firstly selecting our text for that press ctrl a to select all of your text then go to here and increase the size of your text I want to make it like this and then I want to insert an image under my text so for that again go to the insert tab this time choose pictures if you want to insert any online image then you can select online image from here but I want to insert picture from my device so for that I select this device and then locate your path where your image is located so my image is in sample data and then I want to select this image then click on insert and the image will be added on your slide but the image is way too big so to make it small we just need to drag the corners down and the image size will be reduced and now you can place the image wherever you want I want to make it on center now if you want to crop your image to a circular shape or rectangular shape then for that select your image go to the picture format and here go to crop now crop to shape and from here you can choose any shape for your image I want to go with this rounded corner shape so for that I'll simply select it and you will notice a yellow dot here so we just need to select this dot and drag it according to your need so we can round the corners according to our need but you can select any shape like triangle rectangle or circular depending on your need so I just want to make my image like this after that you can see my image has been converted to a rounded corner image now if you want to increase the size of your image inside the shape so we just need to select our image then right click on it go to crop and here we'll see this corner so we just need to drag it up and then change your image location so I just want to place it like this and then click anywhere else and you can see the image size has been changed inside the shape now if you want to add any background for your slide then right click on your slide then go to format background and here we need to select picture or texture fill if you want to have any solid color then you can choose the color from here as well but I don't want to have it I want to add a picture so for that I'll choose picture from here then click on insert and choose the picture from the location so if you have any online picture you can select it but I have a picture on my PC so I'll select the first option then add any picture for your background so I have this background I need to tap on insert and you can see the background has been changed but the color of my text is not matching so for that I need to firstly select my text select all of your text now and then choose the color which you want to have for your text and I want to bold it as well for that press ctrl b and the text will be bolded but you can see the dimensions has been changed so we just need to drag the corners from our text and the text will be fitted perfectly and now if you want to duplicate the slide then for that simply select your slide from this left panel and hit ctrl d on your keyboard and the slide will be duplicated on your second slide now you can change the text from here so if i want to add any text like zebra then i can simply select it if you want to make it center then you can select the center option from here and the text will be centered and now i want to change the image of tiger to zebra so for that i need to select the tiger image right click on it then click on change picture and under it we'll see the option of this device or online picture i have a this device image so i'll select it and then select the image which you want to select i have this image i'll select it then click on insert but the image is very small i want to make it large so for that right click on it then click on crop and extend the corners of your image and fit the image inside the shape as you can see i have created two slides here and you can repeat the process for upcoming slides and then we can also add transitions for our slides so for that firstly select the slides which you want to have transitions to but i want to have transitions for my both slide so for that hold ctrl key on your keyboard and select both of the slides from here then go to the transitions tab and from here add any transition for your image so i want to have this cover transition and i can see it the preview here 
also you can choose the duration from here if you want to add any sound then you can choose the sound from here as well and also on what basis you want to skip your slide if you want to change your slide on mouse click so whenever you click on your slide the slide will be changed to the next slide but if you want to change your slides automatically after a certain duration then you can choose the second option which is after and then you can set the duration and then whenever two seconds will have on your slide the slide will be automatically changed to the next slide but i don't want to have it so for that i'll simply deselect it and make it zero i want to change my slides on my mouse click and now to preview your slides go to the slideshow panel from here and then from here we can choose from beginning or from current slide i want to start my uh, presentation from the beginning so for that i'll simply select the first option which is from beginning and then you can see my slides have been loaded in a slideshow if i want to change the slide then i can simply click anywhere else and you can see the slide has been changed so this is the process to create slideshow in powerpoint now if i was a big help can you like this video and subscribe my channel for now thanks for watching bye bye